don't miss TRC's Streetcar Armageddon Race Event at Bradenton Motorsports Park, April 6, 2019. going on guys Nick from that racing channel back at it again we're out here with Andrew and his beautiful 2017 GTR you want to tell us a little about the car man absolutely first I want to thank Nick thank Javier and all the guys at TRC for coming down especially to the World Cup and getting all the coverage for us hell yeah man it was a pleasure to be there but this is the GTR though I guess we coined it the send it GTR and I want to thank Nathan CCO at Top Speed Motorsports for building me this absolute monster so what we have here is basically, this is one of three prototype cars on the new stock turbo manifold kit. We've been calling it the Elite Plus Plus, and we've now called it the Prime Turbos. So this is the Elite Prime Turbos, makes 1468 at the wheels, 1120 torque at 42 PSI. <laughs> very much a street car has every feature comfort that we came from the showroom floor um, we've still got a very street seat in the car the Recaro CS's as you can see we still have full steel brakes and we are running a 17 inch slick at the track made by Phillips specialties as you'll see here these are the street package 18s drag radials front and rear also made by top speed motorsports they have a really nice partnership with Glenn over at Bill, Bill at Specialties. Um, and these things have been selling really well just because they're absolutely gorgeous. And oh, they yeah, perform. Man. They look super pretty on this car. Thank you. I really appreciate that, guys. <laughs> It's a 3.8 billet crank. Everything is done in-house at Top Speed Motorsports. Taylor Lear is my tuner. He tuned this on Motec. AMS 12 injector manifold. I want to thank Tony Palo at ID Injectors for hooking us up with some sick injectors. The transmission is done by John Shepard. So Shep Stage 4 Plus transmission with the drop gears and all the cool stuff. But other than that, honestly, it's a pretty proven street package. Completely stock 2017 suspension. We still have the full size stock brakes. They are Alcons with MX-72 pads, but it's a pretty, pretty much a street car. There's not a whole lot other than the motor and the transmission that's been done. And everything was done in-house at Top Speed Motorsports. I really want to thank those guys from the bottom of my heart. Not just Nathan CCO, the owner, that helped me develop this whole package and really broke down some barriers with it. But everyone at Top Speed Motorsports breaks their butt to make sure that we're all safe, happy, at the track, and having fun. 
I mean, it's, it's a first for me, but it's kind of like showing up to a track event and having a Formula One pit crew with you. Yeah. And these guys take care of my tire pressures. I get out of the car and Taylor's already jumping in there with a laptop. They make it so much more enjoyable yeah. when you're not struggling with these cars. I really appreciate you guys and all the hard work you put into this car. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's awesome, man. It's, it's cool to hear about a team that takes care of customers like that. Absolutely. That's, that's really great. Ready? I'm ready. I'm not chasing sixes with this car, so we needed a package I could drive on the street, be nice and smooth, I wouldn't end up hating the car never driving it, but I wanted to run at the track with the big boys. For sure. And that's why we built this car for the modified class. Mm -hmm. So we're limited to that 58 millimeter inducer, and we have to use a stock turbo manifold. Um, but we still have the, I took delivery of this car at the Indiana half mile event from shift sector. Mm -hmm. And my test drive of this car, we set the world record <laughs> at 209 miles an hour back to back that's in the crazy, half mile. Man. And that's still standing to this day. We didn't build it to set records, but I'll certainly mm -hmm. hold on to them as long as I can. Absolutely. It's a really cool deal. interior with two seats in the car it's a really heavy car especially we've got a weld-in cage mm -hmm. we've got all the proper safety requirements for a modern supercar yeah supercar uh, um, no need for air quotes there man this thing is it's something else. pretty spectacular <laughs> It's super in the way it performs. Yeah. Uh, I know there's a lot of controversy whether what makes it a supercar, but for mm -hmm. me, I can't imagine having the same amount of money in anything else. Yeah. This is my absolute baby, um, and I love it to death. I just want to thank everyone that was involved in building it. I want to thank you guys for coming out to GTR World Cup. Hell I know yeah, they're man. long days, and it's not easy. Um, you're sweating, you're working hard, but... One of the most rewarding parts of the process for me is getting home and seeing all this media footage of the cars coming yeah. back. So I really appreciate Javier, Nick, everyone that came out. Hell yeah, um, man. I know it's not easy work, but it's a lot of fun. <laughs> It sure is a lot of fun and when you know when you get to see cars like this and experience things like this and and meet the people behind them that, that sure. make it possible it, there's nothing better than that absolutely it's awesome. so one of the things that draws me to the GTRs is a special group of people mm -hmm. and uh, we talked a little bit about this before but there's always a lot of criticism that some of us GTR guys get we could have run the same numbers for 30 grand in a Fox body yeah well some of it's not just about the car or just about running a number I'm sure for me, I fell in love with this GTR first. I fell in love with the platform mm -hmm. and slowly we decided to push it faster and faster. I think that's how it works for a lot of people until they either go broke or hit their goal. Yeah. Um, but I'm absolutely loving this car. It's just been, it's performed for me. The only issue we've ever had with the car was a TCM issue. It wasn't shifting properly. Mm -hmm topped off a um, little bit of fluid made an adjustment in TCM map we were able to complete that event we then sent the uh, transmission back to John Shepard 
which he is just the man. He completely took care of us, and it was a, a seal that was going out. Okay. Uh, but other than that, I've never had an issue with the car. We've done everything from no prep events, eighth mile racing on the street, quarter mile racing, a little bit of that, a half mile racing. I mean, the car will do whatever you want it to do. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the thing that really blew me away is just how drivable and usable the car is oh, at me slower too. speeds. Me too. That was that was something I really wasn't expecting out sure. of something built to this level. You know, number one, the the drivability and the usability and the reliability. You know, you've had minimal it issues at easy. a power level like this. Tell me, crazy top speedometer sports on the crew, Taylor Lear, especially with that magic on the computer. They make it look easy, mm -hmm. but these things have to be refined down to a science. Because yeah. it's not easy making a 1500 wheel horsepower car drive like your Civic. Absolutely. Um, granted, if your Civic had, you know, gear wine and some grabby <laughs> clutches, but still, I mean, it's very much a street car. Oh, it certainly is. Uh, it's, it's an absolute animal. I appreciate it. Hell yeah, man. It's, Absolutely it was love awesome it. to go for a cruise and Thank see it Thank you guys for today. coming down and going for some street pulls. You're always welcome for more, but I'll see you guys in for some more racing. Hell yeah, man. Thanks for your time. Absolutely. Thank you. Bye.